Start the day strong. These are my morning rituals, they're my non-negotiables, and they happen every single day of the week in order to make me have a great start to the day and set the tone for the rest of the day. And if you can get anything from these points, these five points, then it's gonna improve your morning, which is hopefully gonna improve the rest of your day, your weeks, and it compounds dramatically over time to improve or increase what you get out of life. It's so powerful. Number one, my day starts the day before. So everything that's in my head, and I'm one of those overthinkers, I guess, but if you can manage that, it's powerful. Everything is on paper. So a to-do list and a day plan is on paper. So I know what I'm gonna do, whether it's training, whether it's in the gym, whether it's running, whether it's work, everything is laid out. And so it's out of my head and on paper. And that allows me to have a mindful morning where I'm in my thoughts, I'm calm and I'm setting my attitude and my tone for the rest of the day. So if you think about if you have to deal with a stressful situation, you want to deal with those situations with clarity, in a calm way, and with reason. And if you start the day, oh my God, I'm gonna be late, you're rushing to work, you're trying to commute to work, you're a little bit late. It's very, very difficult to then consistently make good decisions. And our life and our days are all about the hundreds of decisions that we make in every hour in order to move ourselves forward a little bit. And so being mindful in the morning is this for me. I've laid my kit out the night before, which is kind of like my to-do list. That's what you're doing. It is non-negotiable. It doesn't matter if you've got an interval session, whether you've got a long run, whether it's a recovery run, an easy run, or a walk. It doesn't matter whether you had food poisoning last night, you had two hours sleep, you're getting up and you're setting the tone for that day because the previous day is gone. And so you're putting your kit on, you're going to drink water, you're gonna rehydrate, and you're gonna get out there and start walking. And initially, that might be a five minute walk and then into a run. If it's just a walk, because I feel like my body's beat up and it needs an extra day recovery, or it's rest day, it's still happening, because I'm getting out there in sunlight or in daylight, and I'm getting into my thoughts, thinking, okay, where am I up to in life? What am I doing and where is the path forward? And I'm constantly reminding myself about that. It's not uh, January the 1st, I have a list of things that I want to achieve before the end of the year. And then, okay, let's check again on the 31st of December. It's not that, it's constantly every day. Okay, are we a little bit further forward? What are the sticking points? What are the hurdles? Where do I need to get past it in order to make the path easier? Incredibly important, mindful morning. Number two, rise with purpose. So as I said, if you've got the day plan already written, and for me, it's pretty much exactly the same Monday to Sunday, and then you've got a to-do list, everything that needs doing, and it will be urgent, non-urgent, important, non-important, and so it will be prioritized as well. And my rule is six. If I can get six things done in a day that push me forward, outside fitness, so this is, the fitness is happening no matter what, and that puts me in a great place mentally and with clarity, to tackle my day, if I can move my forward, myself forward six points in that day, that's a win. And therefore, it's quantifying your day. What is, what is a successful day? What is an average day and what is a bad day? And if I get towards the end of the day, if you've felt this before, if you get towards the end of the day, you feel frustrated, didn't get anything done today. Did you quantify it? Do you know what a good day is? Or does it look like a successful day or a successful week that you've had in the past? And do you not really, have you not really identified that? I made it clear what you need to do in order to achieve what you want to achieve for the day. Incredibly powerful day plan and a to-do list, prioritized. Number three, gratitude. Practice gratitude. Focus less on what's missing from your life and more about what is in abundance in your life. What do you already have? So think, what are the five things I'm grateful for? It's really difficult to be extremely grateful and anxious in the, in the same moment. So not only is it gonna boost your mood, but it's also going to give you a better perspective on your life and where you're at at the moment and where you want to be. Number four, and this for me is the most important, be kind. Realize that everyone is fighting their own battle and you are the central character perhaps in your life but you're not the central character in everybody's life. It feels like everyone has read the book, The Secret, or knows about the power of attraction, but they look at it slightly the wrong way, in my opinion. And they look at it like, I'm going to be this way, and I'm going to do these things for a person, and so I will receive. And so if you're doing things in order to re return, then that's not kindness. And you cannot fake kindness. And so if you can just be genuine, and be kind and do things that make sense, if you actually dig deep 
it comes as absolute common sense. Why wouldn't you consider every human being to be like an old lady is your grandmother that you loved dearly. An older woman is your mother and how do you treat your mother? It says so much about you and for me that is character. Character is who you are when nobody's looking. Character is the person you are to somebody who can do nothing for you in return. And so when I see people treating animals really well who can do nothing for them, or when they're treating somebody well who can do nothing for them, for me, that's a good person. And, and actually, it's the most powerful caricature I could possibly think of because it says everything about your identity. You're not out for what you can get. You realize that the world will be a better place if everybody was more kind. Number five, do nothing. In a world where we're so focused on how much can I produce today? What are my productivity levels? What are the productivity hacks? What are the ways that I can do more? And they are quite input to output. It's powerful to be in your own thoughts and it's powerful to think where am I at and where do I want to get to? And what am I doing right and what am I doing wrong? Exactly the same in running. What am I doing well that's having a positive effect on my running times? And what am I not doing so well? that I need to maybe remove or reduce. It's exactly the same in life. If you can sort of have moments to yourself, and as I've said before, we often think we get our, our greatest ideas in the shower. It's not the case. If you're having the greatest ideas in the shower, it means that you're not spending a lot of time in your own thoughts because you're constantly surrounded by people, maybe family, maybe friends, maybe colleagues, maybe children. Have time on your own where you can really get into your head and think, what's going on? What path am I on? And what do I need to do more of? What makes me truly happy? It's amazing how many 30 to 40 to 50 year olds I speak to, if I ask them what's their passion, they really cannot answer it. I think it's really sad because we get to 60, we run out of energy, a lot of us, a lot of you are watching this channel at 75, 80, and you don't have any sign of running out of energy anytime soon, but you know the type of person that I'm looking for. All of a sudden, they haven't, they've got to a certain age where they don't have the energy and they, they never found their passion. There's nothing sadder than that. So, so in those moments where you're reflecting and you're thinking deeply, that's where inspiration can come from and that's where your creativity comes from as to how you want your life, life to move forward. Hope you enjoyed that.